It's Friday, July 26, 2019. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. A devotion today is entitled, Sometimes It's Better for the Ship to Sink. And our scripture is Hosea chapter 5, where God is talking to his disobedient children through Hosea. The leaders of Judah have become like thieves, so I will pour my anger on them like a waterfall. The people of Israel will be crushed and broken by my judgment because they're determined to worship idols. I will destroy Israel as a moth consumes wool. I will make Judah as weak as rotten wood. When Israel and Judah saw how sick they were, Israel turned to Assyria, to the great king there, but he could neither help nor cure them. I will be like a lion to Israel, like a strong young lion to Judah. I will tear them to pieces. I will carry them off, and no one will be left to rescue them. Then I will return to my place until they admit their guilt and turn to me. For as soon as trouble comes, they will earnestly search for me. Hosea's prophecy is not gentle bedtime reading. As a native of the northern kingdom of Israel in the 8th century B.C., this man of God was familiar with the corrupt ways of God's leaders, the priests. He also had a front row seat to how the people had bought into the priests' leading and how close to the edge this ship was to sinking into the east, namely giving allegiance to Assyria, modern-day Iraq. Hosea's message was a severe warning of an event that colors today's tension in the Middle East and the ancient struggle between Isaac and Ishmael. The prophecy came to fulfillment at the start of the 7th century. Israel was devastated. Those who survived the siege were scattered and most of the young bright men and women brought into captivity. This was a national ship destroyed by its own rotted wood. They had worshipped idols, and it cost them everything. At the risk of sounding like a broken record, it's hard to hear the familiar strains of this tune humming in the background of ancient Israel's having God's blessing, then turning apostate, leaving the God they once loved, as being what is now playing out in the new Israel, God's church falling apart with rotted timbers. Scholars debate whether it's just figurative imagery that Hosea really did marry a prostitute to dramatically illustrate how serious it was that a righteous God, Jehovah, would have an illegitimate bride, Israel. It may have been that Hosea did just that. There are stranger things in God's word. But whether we have a metaphorical illustration or a flesh and blood harlot, the message cannot be missed. Israel's prostitution of her godly spiritual heritage had put them squarely in God's crosshairs. They were in for it. And the point is, so are we. Israel turned away from the God they couldn't see to the native culture of worshipping idols they could carve with their own hands. That sounds alarmingly like today's church, vesting a whole lot more trust in balance sheets and demographic preferences, technology and slick presentations, all which we can see, touch, and manipulate for greater impact, trying to get the world's attention with the world's methodologies, rather than a plane stepping out in faith in between the walls of water through the Red Sea. We have come to trust more in ourselves, leaning on our own understanding, rather than resting in the arms of Jehovah. Proverbs 3, 5, and 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Do not depend on your own understanding. Seek his will in all you do, and he will show you which path to take. Now, with a mild apology for co-opting a campaign slogan here, The church has chosen to buy into making America great again rather than worshiping at the feet of the one who is never anything but magnificent. Are we making the same mistake Hosea's hometown made nearly 3,000 years ago? I can't help imagining I hear the roaring young lions about ready to rip into the rotting wood of Zion's ship. For you today, God is the master builder. The church is his ship. It belongs to no one else. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. 
Have a blessed day.